Oh, the Maitlands were very clever. They converted this into a cupboard. Meanwhile, it's right next to their fridge. He's dying. Who's dying? Tizio? You want a hot dog? I want a hot dog. What do you take on your dog? <laughs> apples, apples, apples. What makes you think he's dying? Okay. Uh. You see those pictures in his office? Yeah. He's much thinner. Here it comes, a. So where were you between 11 and 12, Mr. Creason? Booyah. I was asleep. Asleep? You were lame! You were so lame! 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 It's a well-known fact that Mr. Creason sleeps from 6 p.m. to midnight in order to maintain a late-night presence at... We work side by side every day. He writes a sex scene in his book about you that had me reaching for ice water. Now Little Miss Bride shows up. Don't tell me you're not the least bit jealous. Oh, please. You've been inhaling too many autopsy fluids. Honey, just because you can't see what's going on doesn't mean everyone else doesn't see what's going on. Shut up! Mm-hmm. I see it. You may not, but I... she say, come uh, see her? You expect us to believe? that Mrs. Westlake invited you back into her house after you stole her ring and threatened her? Mrs. Westlake, she find ring. She called to me and say to come there. And then she say, sorry to accuse. She cried. She cried? She cried? Stroop. Hasberg's alibi is Stroop. Shut the front door. See, as you inventory the jewelry and the engagement ring is there. All new ABC tonight. Castle, 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 castle. Be the castle, castle. Be the castle. It's awesome. Be the castle, castle. Be the castle. Hey. Hey. Castle. ABC's Castle. All new tonight, 10, 9 Central. this morning postmark monday the day she died that is her letter ed to whom it may concern i feel that my murder is imminent <laughs> and although i have no idea yet where or when this event will occur i have had a vision of my death in the vision i could not breathe i saw a man dressed in black the number 7518 and i could hear a furious pounding from what seemed to be far away I'm sorry, I cannot be more specific if Psychic predicted her own murder! Or the killer wrote this in order to throw us off. Run it. Maybe we'll get lucky. Castle! 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 Thank you! I told you. Huh? Oh my God. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Okay. How are you? He's not the only one here, you know. <laughs> I'm so. I'm so sorry, Martha. Oh. Where's the secret safe? Coming to that. So it's five days since Joe and Vera met, and they were very much in love. After only five days? Come on. Well, people didn't waste time back in the 40s. Matter of fact, they were so much in love, they risked it all. So what does that have to do with our secret safe? And it happened backstage, right upstairs. They were stealing a moment together, which was dangerous because she was Dempsey's girl. As they stared into each other's eyes, Kate's heart quickened. Did you just say, Kate? Are you picturing the P.I. as you and me as the gangster's mom? What? No. And I didn't say Kate. I said fate. Fate's heart quickened. It's being poetic. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, they were just about to kiss when... Oye, chico! Who's that? I'll leave it to him. Hey, Castle, thank you for the photo. I'll see you. Hey, 
Okay. After all these years, all the times I could have been holding you in my arms. Then let's not waste more time with words. Let's just let our lips do the talking. Are you two running lines again? Uh, oh, well, no, no. We were just, uh, you know, talking. Oh. Oh. Um. I'm gonna. I'll just. I'll go to the. Mondays, 10, 9 central on ABC. The surefire way to a great upfront presentation is to pair up a male presenter with a female presenter. Now, the female presenter, she should be sophisticated, you know, sexy, smart. Oh, smart. I like that. Yeah. And what about the male presenter? Should he be strong? Yeah. Yeah, he should be strong. Mm -hmm. You know, charming. Good to be charming. Markedly handsome, you should be a, a little renegade. But what happens when that smart, sexy, sophisticated little girl gets lost in that ruggedly handsome renegade's eyes? She then, um, what, what are we doing? We're heightening sexual tension, you know, between the male and female presenter to create that will they, won't they vibe. Right? Mm. Will they? Now, what you also want to do is find presenters who can stay on point. Right, Castle? Maybe they would, though. Castle? Might be good. Yeah, right. It's hot in here. Okay, Castle. What was so important that you had to cut my sparring session short? Just that I cracked this case wide open. You know the thought of you fighting in a ring with another woman? Strangely arousing. Who says I was sparring with a woman? Oh, your mystery date. Oh, do I detect some jealousy? Me jealous? Ha! <laughs> Double K. What if I told you that my date was with your book? Really? No. God, you're easy. Give me your case-breaking information so I can get a cup of coffee. Well, I went a little daddy dearest on Alexis, and it got me thinking. If I can go this crazy over a violin teacher, how crazy would I go if my daughter was about to marry a scam artist? Crazy enough to kill, maybe? That is... Inspired. No. Brilliant. Mm -mm. Genius. Uh-uh. What? Thin. Oh. We don't have the slightest indication that Elise's father knew that Fletcher was a con artist. Maybe not, but... Castle here suggested that we check gun registration records for Jerry Finnegan. I guess who happens to own the same caliber handgun as our murder weapon? Who? Jerry Finnegan. Shut the front door. No time for dirty talk. Go get changed.